हेलो व्यूअर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट 4G जी थ्रूपुट फोर जी डाटा रेट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आवर टॉपिक वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक एल टी फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर सो हेयर इज द एल टी फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर वन फ्रेम कंटेन्स टेन स्लॉट्स एंड टेन मिली सेकेंड इन टाइम डोमेन सो लेट्स कंसिडर वन स्लॉट विच इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू वन सब फ्रेम एंड टू स्लॉट्स ईच स्लॉट इज कैरिंग पॉइंट फाइव मिली सेकेंड इन टाइम डोमेन सो टोटल सब फ्रेम इन वन मिली सेकेंड If we further explore one slot, let's suppose uh, we are expanding this slot zero into this frame structure. This is basically one RB. So let's understand uh, what is the RB and what's inside this. RB is divided in seven OFDM symbols. If we are talking about uh, normal CP. If uh, uh, we consider extended CP, then there will be six OFDM symbols. Now we are uh, uh, now we are discussing about normal CP. In normal CP, there are seven OFDM symbols and twelve subcarriers in frequency domain. So uh, here we calculate about RB. RB is uh, if we are going to calculate in frequency domain. then 1 rb is equal to uh, f frequency multiplied by sub carriers here one sub carrier is equal to 15 kilohertz so if we are talking about 1 rb then there will be 12 sub carriers so 12 multiplied by 15 kilohertz so it will be 180 kilohertz total rb in frequency domain now let's discuss about uh, re is these each box is called re this and uh, this green highlighted is basically a one re so if we are talking about uh, re is in rb so we have to consider this equation re is is equal to ofdm symbols multiply by sub carriers so there are seven ofdm symbols and 12 sub carriers so total number of re is in one rb will be equal to 84 re's so now we have basic lt frame structure idea now we can calculate 4g throughput let's consider we have 20 megahertz band and 64 cam modulation scheme operating on 4 by 4 mimo in 20 megahertz we have 100 rbs as in 15 megahertz we have 75 rbs in 10 megahertz we have 50 rbs so now let's consider this condition first we have to multiply OFDM symbols, number of sub carriers, with number of RBs. OFDM symbols we have seven for normal CP and twelve sub carriers, and in twenty megahertz we have hundred RBs. So it will be eighty four hundred. so now let uh, let's check this we are calculating for this one uh, slot this one slot contains uh, one sub frame uh, slot 0 and slot 1 so there will total two slots there will be total two slots so 8400 multiply by 2 will be equal to 16800 so now check for this second condition which is 64 cam now 64 cam is basically 6 bits 
and if we are talking about 16 cam then there will be 4 bits in this one array and if we are talking about QPSK then there will be 2 bits so if there is 64 cam we have to multiply by 6 bits which will be equal to 10 mbps so here is our last condition of 4 by 4 mimo if there will be 4 by 4 mimo 4 antennas 4 transmitters then the, this throughput will be 4 times which will be 403 mbps as we know there will be 25 percent overhead so uh, we exclude the 25% of this answer and the final data rate will be equal to this is the final data rate of 20 megahertz with 64 cam operating 4 by 4 MIMO then we have this throughput.